All right, so I'm on a roll to tell me past your corners, and here's one, a very sad and interesting case. So it's called Stepson is Driving Me Crazy. All right, here we go. Dear past, I'm 28 and I have two children. I have to break up with my first child's father. I met a nice young man while going to nursing school. We dated for months and he helped me to finish school. <clears throat> he told me that he had a baby mother, but things were not working out for them, so they broke up. After about a year, I stayed with him at my house. Then this woman started to call me up and set her up her friend to stop me and disrespect me on social media. <clears throat> so, uh, not sure as it has anything to do with the story, but it were just this is just a probably side, a side note that has no real relevance to the letter. This went on for some time, and that was a first warning sign right here because the fact that you were you have a psychotic baby. Um, a psychotic baby mother and the father isn't and your dude is not checking her because i'm saying that the, that her man did anything to really stop her did um to well, protect um protect his current girlfriend but let's go on no at all this at all this time this man sleeping at my house every night and about one year i got pregnant for him oh god oh god and this shows you that the, the lady in this letter does not use have good judgment. After almost time, the town was finished school, which took two years. When I was seven months pregnant, I heard that this, this woman was pregnant too. All right, I called my boyfriend and he asked me if he knew anything about it. And he said he was not the one who got her pregnant. Afterwards, I found he was a father. And at that point, she should have left the relationship. But as you can see, she's he, she... Has not she didn't really take the that red the second red red flag um, red flag right here. I cried for days and prayed for the safe delivery. This woman is in a competition me for every for me every day. All right. After my delivery, I forgave this man. I was living well until this year, and I moved to um I moved to, and I moved to live at his house. Yep, and then more red flags are gonna come. All right. Everything was going great until his baby mother decided that she could not match their big son. All right, so I'm assuming it's the same cycle X or a different one. I don't know. All right. All right, let me check if it's the same cycle person. All right. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's the same same person. Yeah, okay. Cycle X. Okay. All right. Okay, so everything was doing great. His baby mom said she couldn't manage the big son. She decided to send him to live with us. Which was purposely of a way of saying I'm going to find a way to really make this, make the new this new the new baby mother's life miserable as hell. She believe most likely did that too. He has been living with us for the past five months now. It's in the worst five months of my life. The little boy is twelve and he doesn't help anything around the house. He breaks into people's houses and steals belongings. So yeah, this is like a yeah, this is like a spoiled little brat that's out of control. All right, he stole his father's money, his money, and he stole his grandfather's phone. He goes to the river every day without permission and the list goes on. He's not a bright boy. I even asked him why he didn't take his book to study. He didn't even not look at me. This boy even left the pipe on and flooded the house and damaged all my important documents. Yeah, this is a little demon right here. Yeah, this is like Problem Child if you remember the movie. Yeah, this is basically the Jamaican version of Junior. Yeah, for those who remember that character. Every day as soon as dad leaves work and he wakes up, he goes on, to the road, on the road until night. Although his mother lives close by, she does not care for him either. Whatever bad he does, the dad never tries to discipline him. And yeah, this is the biggest red flag right here. The dad is not doing a good job reigning his son. So if he's here, he's always right. When he eats, he leaves the place right there and he leaves dirty clothes all over the house. I always have to remind him to pick up, but he does not. I used to watch for him, but I stopped. He has no mask to me. He curses the bad words in front of me and when he's with friends. The father and mother are to be blamed. Well, dog, obviously, like he's... Do, do you have two very shitty parents, so what do you think the end result is going to be? The father took, 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 um, took him to break him in his way, and he's not doing anything to help him. He said the mother grew up in streets, so that's why it's like that. She did not teach him to do anything. If he's looking for clothes, and throws out clothes and leaves them at the same place, after arguing with him about it. The little boy even cursed his mother many times and stoned her. I'm thinking about going back home because I'm tired of his behavior. And an article. So, yeah... Again, he just this is basically a very drawn up drama. This woman, like she obviously drama. This is like this woman's like a drama magnet. I mean, like I have to break up her first baby father, whatever um um father. She then picks up a guy 
who's just bring who's just even bigger trouble magnet me as a psychotic baby mother as a terrorist of a terror of a child that neither him or the mother are doing anything to really correct and then rather than seeing the warning signs to just leave the situation she then decides that okay she then is coming to write this letter um asking for a solution to a problem she knows what the solution is um yeah i think as i said i have limited sympathy for this woman because the signs were there that this guy the fact they had a psycho baby mother which obviously did not do anything to protect her from he um was cheated on her got some other woman pregnant um, um i think it's apparently they got the second his second his first baby mother pregnant so obviously he's still having sexual relationships with her and the fact that he's obviously nothing to he's not doing anything to correct his brat of his child and to be fair this child is acting out he's seeing the drama and tension between the parents and he's just acting out what he's seeing because he's seeing that the if the boy recognized that both parents do not really care about him that they're not doing anything to correct him or instill some sense of discipline and uh, discipline or whatever in him so he's just acting out though he's just he's he's just basically just taking out his anger in the world because that's what he's doing like i've seen cases like where kids who who see their parents break up or not in a normal functional relationship like they act out and do a lot of of things based on their and some very negative emotions so this kid's just acting out what he's seen i mean he definitely needs to like get a belt his behind of course but he's just acting out and the fact that both these parents aren't doing anything he that's a fail on their part though and the thing is that this woman should just say you know take my child um, just work on work and deal with my children find a better man than this guy because this guy is just bad news i mean yeah you have to deal with the fact that he is you have a child with this dirt bag as well but he, she should have she basically this relationship should not even have is not going to go anywhere because this guy refuses the thing to bear in mind is that when you take up someone who has a child who already has a child and they're not then they're not doing anything to correct that child when that child acts like a little brat that's a deal breaker right there because even when you as step parent try to correct that other same child and the other parent is going to run interference and especially with the psycho baby mother is just basically is a disaster um, is disaster that is a continue to unfold so she needs to just cut her losses and just deal with it because this she can do better than this guy and only different only um thing that she needs to deal with this she has raising their co raising their child but then again with his psycho baby mother and even the that brat of a stepchild i'd be worried about that because she needs to worry about the safety of her both her children or children her own the stepson because he obviously is, he's more inclined to take out his anger and frustration on these other children because he feels that especially with the the new this other child that he feels that he's going that the um that the second child her second child is going to be competition for him and so that he might she might have to take away the child from um think about just having sole custody of the second child because like i say it's just a whole situation where just whole bunch of drama lots of drama that her and her children don't need so this is for state of jamaica and the caribbean check them out the youtube pages miles jeff productions miles gusum friend and real thoughts miles all right yeah sorry about to add um some more stuff but like with the thing with the stepson like i said like the parents need to get their acts together with this child because most likely if this child continues on this destructive path without getting any help or this parent stepping up and actually doing actually doing their job this kid is most likely going to end up in jail or even worse because when you go because usually all it's going to take is him stepping to the wrong person and yeah you, and i'm not going to spell out what happens after that but this is i feel sorry for the child but this child this his parents failed this child greatly and if I, and the thing is that the only thing that can save him now is if he gets the right guidance and the right influences in his life and and someone that's actually going to teach him about moral values and accountability all right so i haven't mentioned that part okay